had a big smile on her face all the time. Daylene was very opinionated, very bossy, uh, the oldest daughter. Uh, it was her way or no way at all, and it was just stuff like that that <laughs> just would drive you insane. <laughs> We always met for breakfast on Sundays before. And it was cool that morning. So I went to get in the truck. Daylene yelled at me, Mom, do you want your hug? Goodbye. And I said, no, I'll get two next time. She's like, all right. I said, goodbye. She was dead six hours later. And I think that's the hardest for me is I want that damn hug. Dalian was such an advocate on non-drinking and driving. She would step up to anybody that went to get into their vehicle after drinking. How she ended up in a vehicle with somebody that had been drinking, it just isn't her. Nothing is adding up to who she was. She had said to me about a month before we lost her, because she, she was a real tomboy. And she said, you know, I'm always one of the guys, Mom, always one of the guys. She said, you know, I need to change up who I am and start being a bit more feminine or whatever because, uh, you know, I'm 23 and I want to get into a long-term relationship now. I want to get married and have kids. And I'm always just one of the guys. So, did that play into it? <clears throat> I could have. Someone that she knew through her work kind of gone out on a blind date or whatever, and she hadn't seen him since. He pulled up to her house. She had gone out with him once. She wanted to go out with him again. He was just about three times over the legal limit. As soon as he hit Deerfoot Trail, he went right into the fast lane. By the next off-ramp, which is half a mile away, he was losing control. Before I go to sleep, I picture the Jeep going down the highway, hitting the abutment, coming over the five lanes, I picture her flying. I picture going through her mind as my mom's gonna kill me for being in this situation. I picture the Jeep coming down on her. And I, I'm devastated because I'm not there to protect her or save her. I don't know if I ever told her how much I loved her, how much, how proud I was of her, how lucky we were to have her. I prayed and prayed to God to send her back, even for five seconds, so I could tell her how much I love her, I'm gonna miss her, and how proud I was of her. But he hasn't sent her back yet. I just want the hug. In my place, in my place, were lines that I couldn't change. And I was lost, oh yeah, oh.